Welcome back to Little House on the Cove. If you are looking to sprout grains for your chickens, the number one thing that you're going to be doing every single day is rinsing your sprouts. So what that looks like is taking your sprouts into the kitchen or if you have a water source in your garage or outside, that's fine too. Filling it with water, shaking it around and draining as much as you can. That way when it drains on the stand that I'll show you, you aren't ending up with a flood everywhere. So we're back in the garage and this is nothing fancy. My husband built me this table that's sitting on top of our dog crate. And on top is just where I do my sprouting. So a nice location that's safe away from kids knocking it over is really all you need. So here I have stands and trays. And I believe that these stands came with wide mouth mason jars. I will link for you below exactly the set that I got. I am very happy with it. So here are the sprouts that we just rinsed. On the trays, you have wide mouth and small mouth jars, I like to put one of each. I find that if I try to do two wide mouth jars, it ends up competing for space and they just are not balanced, oops, as well as they could be. So I do wide mouth and a small mouth, small and wide, and I just tip them upside down like this and they just drain any excess water into the trays. You do need to empty that if it's not evaporating fast enough or you will end up with a mess, but having this is the tray of a small dog crate, this helps catch any extra that just might run off. So these right here, I just filled with grains. So these are going to soak overnight and tomorrow morning, I will rinse them the same way that we did these and flip them over as well. And we will have enough space because this will go to the chickens in the morning for feed. Some random things, I have apple cider vinegar, some random bags and bins of whole grains. I believe that this one is, this is my mix. I mix them all together here and singles are here. So oats, sorghum, and peas. And the fridge is super handy to have outside because when I over sprout, I can stick them in here and use them as needed and they will not go moldy. So that is what my setup looks like. I'm happy with it. I do need to expand because we are getting chicks in a few weeks and I would like to be sprouting more. So some questions I'm asked are why it is important to rinse your sprouts thoroughly every day. Some people even do it morning and evening. I used to do that, time got out of hand, and I do it once a day really, really well and haven't seen any issues. But the main reason is, well, like anything, any plant needs water to grow. But a huge reason is these will mold as soon as you take your eyes off them. Um, yes, mold can kill your chicken, it is not good for them. They do not have hearts, acidic stomachs like dogs who can ingest about anything. So by rinsing and draining well and letting them breathe, you are combating mold growth. The lid is a super important part that you need to keep clean. There is some grime in here, some dust I need to clean out. I was getting lazy few months ago, I let this build up and guess what? I woke up one morning and every single jar was gray and fuzzy. I shed a tear or two as I had to dump, I think six jars of sprouts. It was not fun. Do not make that mistake. You need your straining lids to be clean. Um, there can be some dried stuff in there. It's not a big deal, but you don't want to see stuff built up in the holes. So if this is clean and you are giving them a really good rinse at least once a day, you will be fine. Once you see green tips starting to form, it means they need to be used. You do not want too much green in there. So what happens if I have oversprout, I don't need all my sprouts. I will take them, put them in a Ziploc bag or a container, stick them in the fridge, and then it'll buy me a few more days to use them but I don't wanna keep them in the jar. They will go bad, they need room to breathe. But if you are rinsing and you are making sure they are draining well every day, you will not have a mold issue. And yes, keeping the lids clean, you should be fine. It's not something to worry about, just be proactive to make sure that doesn't happen. When we do have an incident like that where my sprouts do get moldy, I can take just the dry grains, put them in water and sprinkle some extra nutrition in there. And then I can give it to the chickens like that. Sometimes they're a little confused like, hey mom, this isn't what I signed up for. They eat it, it's food, it will be fine. But once the grains sprout is when all their nutrition is unlocked. So if you have to give them the dry grain, they do not have that. For days like that, I have a backup. I have poultry NutriBalancer, which has a lot 
of minerals and vitamins they need in there. I only sprinkle that in their food and I mean just a tiny bit when I mess up. But I like to have it on hand. We do not use it very often, thankfully, but it is good just to have. Thank you for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe so you do not miss any more steps on sprouting or info on the greens that I sprout and why I do that. I will see you guys later. Have a good day.